Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. To equip a beautiful front yard with their own hands in front of the house, every owner dreams of living the tiniest plot of land, regardless of whether the housing is used for year-round living or only in the warm season. The front yard itself is part of the plot on which residential buildings are located. This is the so-called full face. The front yard includes the territory from the road to the door of the house and even the exterior of the building. Professional landscape designers are usually guided by several determinants that are relevant for the independent arrangement of the zone. The design of the courtyard in front of the house depends on who it is oriented to, for the external contemplation of luxury and fantasy of the owner, or for the convenience and leisure of the residents of the house in front of which it was created. In the first case, you should think about how spectacular and harmonious with other buildings along the perimeter of the street will be the site. Often the cornstone issues when creating a front garden are the cost of its creation, the need for care and its frequency, personal preference in style. But in addition, you need to start with an understanding of what a front yard is in principle, what its dimensions are in this case, and also inevitability it is necessary to study the climatic conditions of the growth of crops that are planned to be placed on this territory. To properly make a yard in front of the house, you need to take into account the basic design idea used in the construction of buildings and in the arrangement of recreation areas in the backyard. The most common styles are Luxury Mediterranean Close and warm in spirit, rustic style Always relevant, European style Restrained, minimalist, Japanese, etc. Conventionally, the above and other types of front yards can be divided into two large groups – European. They are characterized by the thoughtfulness of shapes and details, geometry and proportions. They are aimed at the viewer from the outside, so they usually do not have fences. Local decoration and privacy are higher than the award from the best design from neighbors. All sorts of crafts, lush flower beds are used, and fences are built both from artificial material and from plants that form living fences. However, this division is purely formal. No one prevents using the best in both types. The main thing is to adhere to the general rules for creating a front yard with its inherent parameters, especially if the territory is small. When choosing an inexpensive version of the front yard, you can use a picket fence for fencing the side, which is painted in a noble white or a funny playful bright color. Think over a combination of shades of vegetation and the fence so that variegated colors do not interfere with perceiving the overall composition as complete. White and yellow, red and blue and other combinations can be called classic. Dark shades are practically not used. The height of the fence can be different, but it is foundationally important that it does not create too much shadow. Most plants like to arrive in the shade no more than 3 or 4 hours a day. Near the fences, the planting density is moderated. If several plant lines are supported to be planted, then they are selected in height to make a beautiful cascading cascade. Completely leveling the presence of any fences on the front side of the house, you need to adhere to the height requirements of single plants so as not to divide the space into parts with them. The growth of trees and shrubs, both in breadth and upward, is taken into account. Trees are usually chosen stamped. With them, it is easier to create not only topiary, but also simply well-grown flower beds. The decoration of the plot is one of the factors of its arrangement, but often homemade decorations look too primitive and spoil the whole landscape. If the owner is not sure about the aesthetic appeal of the product, it is better to abandon it and use ready-made options, such as gnomes, artificial crafts in front garden in the form of animals. The design of the front yard at the house assumes a clear plan of action. 
To begin with, it is recommended to create a paper version with the application of buildings, existing vegetation, calculations of the distance from the house to the road and the territory of neighbors. Then the style and vegetations are selected. It is also indicated on the plan, taking into account the maximum growth in height and 2-3 years of growth for perennial in one place. Dilemma's decision on how to beautifully decorate the front yard with your own hands largely depends on the choice of vegetation. For example, a rose garden with a selection of varieties and species that bloom permanently from spring to autumn can also surprise. The optimal solution for house that are almost right next to the road is the use of climbing plants covering the wall of the building or flower pots. They can also decorate the paths to the house. Such portable green areas are suitable for those areas that are in unfavorable areas for year-round flower cultivation. The desire to save time on the care of the front yard or the desire for minimalism contributes to the arrangement of lawns. We can place one or more ornamental trees, conifers or flower beds on them, which will become the accents of the site. To create a complete picture, take into account the harmony of lines and shapes of the entire site and its buildings. It can be clear, rectangular, multicolored lawns or smooth, romantic lines with the planting of exclusively green spaces. Even the simplest areas look charming, the entrance to which is decorated with arcs with flowers and greenery. But you need to pay attention to the fact that vegetation and decor should not merge in the color aspect with the general plan of the building. Using your imagination, you can implement the most daring decisions, even if there is a small territory. And the abundance of space allows you to create zoning with the use of various decorative elements. Such a front garden with their own hands in front of the house will be the pride of the owners, admiring and delighting the eye. Go another days when the soil around the tree was covered with stones or bricks were laid along the border of the trunk circle. There are a lot of more interesting and sometimes even useful ideas on how to make a tree growing on the side more attractive and add decorativeness to it. Flower bed in the trunk circle. The easiest way to beat a tree growing on the side is to place a flower bed under it. However, this can only be done under an adult tree. It is better to mulch the trunk circle of a young seedling or so, for example with siderates. What flowers can be grown under a tree? First of all, these are bulbos, daffodils, tulips, crocuses, muscari, etc. In early spring, 
When they decorate the garden with their bright flowers, the trees are still without leaves or are just beginning to bloom and do not give a thick shadow. In addition to bulbos, shade tolerant plants with a superficial root system feel great in the trunk circle. Hosta, fern, barwinkle, ever flowering begonia, etc. Raised bed or flower bed. A variant of flower bed in the trunk circle is a raised flower bed or a bed located around a tree. Faced with brick or stone, it adds decorativeness to the tree and makes it more noticeable. If you add bright plants there, then such a group will become the highlight of your garden. Such constructions will be especially appropriate in areas with uneven terrain. By the way, if there is not enough space on your side for a full-fledged vegetable garden, you can plant not only flowers, but also vegetables near the tree. Terrace or wooden decking around the tree If you decide to build a terrace or decking on the suburban area, do not rush to cut the trees growing in this place. They can be very interesting to beat. In order not to harm the tree when building a terrace, leave a hole larger than the current size of the trunk, because the tree continues to grow. Otherwise, the wooden flooring will not interfere with him in any way. Through the caps between the boards, water for irrigation and air will easily penetrate to the roots, because no one will walk on it. Chairs, tables are installed on the site, or pillows are simply laid out, turning the territory in the shade of a tree into a comfortable recreation area. Recreation area under a tree Lunch with the family at a round table hidden in the dense shade of a huge tree. Who doesn't dream of such an ideal? And it is not difficult to build such a recreation area if a tree grows on the site. The easiest option is to simply put a set of garden furniture under it. However, the legs of the table in this case will constantly fall into the ground. There is a more reliable option, although it requires more investment of money and labor. The creation of a special hard-surfaced platform. It is covered with stone, brick, concrete tiles, paving stones, decking and other similar materials. This dining area will serve you for more than one year. Trunk Furniture Quite an interesting design idea is the location around the trunk of a large tree of furniture. Most often benches are made in this way. You can make a round bench, for example, from pallets, wooden beams and slats, or even from old chairs. If desired, you can create a whole dining group, benches along with a table. Gabions around the trunk It is not often that gabions are used in suburban areas, large structures made of metal mesh filled with stones. But in vain. It is not very difficult to make them, although time and effort of course will be required. And they look very impressive. Moreover, these can be not only free-standing stone structures, but also quite practical benches framing a tree. To make it comfortable to sing on such a bench, its upper part is covered with wooden slats or pillows for garden furniture. Mulching of the barrel circle A simple technique that will not only add decorativeness to the tree, but will also benefit it is mulching of the trunk circle. Before starting work, the area near the trunk is cleared of debris and weeds. If necessary, a layer of spun bond is leveled and laid. Then the prepared surface is covered with pebbles, marble chips, crushed bark, cones and other material. Mulch will protect the soil from overheating, keep it moist longer, improve the air and water permeability of the soil. Swing on a tree Do you have children in your family? Bring them joy, equip a swing at the dacha. You can buy a large hanging chair or you can use a more budget option to make a wooden swing with a suspension made of durable twine. These were the ones in our childhood. For the seat, a rectangular board is needed, on the sides of which holes are drilled. A strong rope is inserted into them and the simple swings are ready. If desired, you can add a back rest and even armrests to them. 
you can hang them on a special support, but if it is not there, then any strong branch of a large healthy tree will do. If two trees grow nearby, you can nail a crossbar to them and hang a swing on it. Hammock in the garden Is it possible to find a better place to relax and read a book on a hot summer day than in the shade of a tree? If you don't like sitting down and prefer a more comfortable position, hang a hammock. The role of the second tree on which the cord from the hammock is attached will be performed by a calm dog in a short distance from the trunk. For lovers of special comfort, instead of a hammock, you can hang an improvised bed made of pallets on a tree. However, you need to be careful when choosing a branch, not everyone can withstand such a weight. Evening lightning in the garden Life in the garden should not end after sunset. Evening lightning will help to prolong it. These can be not only expensive lamps, but also ordinary garlands hung on the trees. The right design will help to emphasize the beauty of the trees, create comfort and ensure safety when you are outside. Bright lights against the dark sky background are the perfect way to create a special mood and spend a wonderful evening with family or friends. Pots, tubes and flower beds filled with flowers add attractiveness to any garden. Container decor also adds versatility to gardens. Container garden plants set the color, provide the focus in the garden and connect the architecture of the house with their garden. Container gardening also has a practical functionality, growing species and medicinal herbs. Tips for choosing container plants for your containers if you are going to grow a container garden on your site, choose those crops that are guaranteed to grow in your climatic zone. If a garden is illuminated by the sun all day, choose sun-loving plants. For shady areas of the site, choose plants that do not require a lot of sunlight. Succulents are a great option for those who rarely visit a garden plot or forget to water containers regularly. In addition, succulents have a stunning view. If you grow vegetables in your containers, be sure to choose the types that will thrive perfectly in containers. There are many annual flowers that grow great in containers, but do not forget to include perennial plants. These plants can be removed from the container at the end of the growing season and moved to the house for the winter period. By planting different types of planting in pots, you can create an almost unlimited number of combinations of colors. 
the best compositions are created from container plants that have beautiful foliage and flowers. Large containers are suitable for indoor and tropical plants. You can grow them outdoors throughout the summer season, but be sure to move them into the heat before the temperature drops to minus. Basil, onion, thyme and other herbs grow perfectly in pots or small containers that can be installed in any place convenient for you. If you need a well-growing container garden, do not skimp and do not buy the cheapest soil mixture. To reduce watering needs and add useful minerals and nutrients to your containers, mix the soil with the finished compost before filling the containers. The proportion for the substrate is in the ratio of 50-50. If you are going to grow succulents instead of compost, add sand, preferably a coarse fraction or use a mixture for succulents or cacti. When buying, choose a soil mixture that includes enough organic matter. This gives plants a source of nutrients throughout the season without additional appliance of synthetic or chemical fertilizers, which can burn tender roots or lead to leaf burns. Tips for watering garden containers Watering is the most important job on the garden's to-do list. Don't forget about it. If you tend to ignore this, create an automatic container watering system or plant drought-resistant plantings such as succulents and cacti. Do not wait until the plants begin to wither without watering. During watering, make sure that you water each container several times. Water it in the morning if possible. This helps to contain fungal diseases and other pests, as well as minimize water loss due to evaporation. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.